My friend invited me to come out to her place and pick some peaches. So early one morning, I loaded up and off I went. My friend says she had not sprayed or treated this tree in any way, and so I've just washed these peaches very well, and I'm putting them all in a pot and going to cook them down for jelly. Did you know you can peel peaches just like you do tomatoes? Hot water into an ice bath, and it should come right off. I've done it before. We're going to try it again. So I've got my pot of water here. I don't have as big a pot as I do for the big ones because I want this to stay continually hot. So we're gonna put a few in here, see if it works, and we'll go from there. Now it works better when they're really ripe, and a lot of these are, but some of them aren't. So we may have some trouble with a few, but um, for the most part, it should work out. So I'm gonna take my peaches, I'm going to take my peach and I'm actually going to slit it a little bit. And this just gives the skin a place to start peeling. Just a little. I'm going to put about six in here to start with. To give us a feel for how it's going to go. While those six are working, I'm going to get my ice bath ready. Okay, so I've got my ice bath ready with some water with ice. Pretty simple. I've got a big bowl to put the peeled ones in. And I have a bowl to put pits and skins in. I think I need to switch these. Maybe that'll work. All right, so it's been about three minutes. Let's get one out. Let's get a couple of them out. The set to cool off. And there we go. And this isn't even on the ripest part. Just like tomatoes. Peels right off. Alright. So 
there's that. Now, bring my bowl over here. I'm going to cut it. And I don't know what kind of peaches these are. I don't know if they're cling or free stem. They seem to be cling. I'm just going to cut them best I can because these are going to be put up anyway and they'll be chopped up. All right, let's get the rest of them out. easily so I'll just cut what I need to and you'll see on the right side it peels off perfectly Definitely not freestone. So since we're going to be cutting these up into things like ice cream and cobblers, I'm just going to get them off of the seed the best I can. Still going to taste the same. Alright, here's my setup for straining my juice. I have a 8 quart tub. This is one I get from Restaurant Supply. I have my strainer. This is an old fashioned one. I got this at a yard sale, I think. This I set down over here. And goes like that. And I have cheesecloth that I'm going to put in there. To strain even more of the bits out. I get this on Amazon in bulk. Now this has been cooking for about two hours, maybe a little more. And I'm just going to take this and pour it down through my strainer. And as this was cooking, I mashed up some of the fruit as best I could. We're just going to strain it right through. And I'll have to take this out and replace it a couple times at least with this big a batch. So this is a, a trowel or I don't know what they call it, but it goes in here and helps you push against the sides to get all the juice out. We'll just keep going and see how much we get. And 
this is where patience comes in. You just have to let it do its thing. You don't rush. You just let it strain. Let it filter through the cheesecloth and you'll get a nice clear juice in the end. So here we are, several hours later, and we have about seven quarts of juice. That will make a whole lot of jelly. But we'll save that for another day. I'm gonna put the lid on this for tonight, put it in the refrigerator. I will probably divide this in half and put it into smaller containers and put it in the freezer until we get a day when we can devote to making jelly. So, until then, thanks for watching. See you next time.